We now explore a critical global crisis affecting many, the harsh reality of youth unemployment. Across the globe, young graduates, despite their high educational investments and hopes for a promising future, are increasingly facing the challenges of joblessness. As we head towards a new year, this issue continues to cast a shadow over the job market, particularly for the youth, well into 2024. Let me begin with China, where the situation is particularly concerning. Young adults here are facing an astounding 20.4% unemployment, a statistic that reveals the depth of the crisis. The situation is complex. Chinese students who studied abroad are returning to an already saturated job market. Furthermore, the pandemic has transformed the recruitment landscape significantly, leading to a preference for in-person interviews, which is a disadvantage for many of the students who are studying abroad. Owing to the timing difference, travel expense, among other issues associated with being outside the country, the challenge is further compounded by the record number of domestic graduates. With an anticipated 11.79 million new graduates next year, according to the Education Ministry, that would mark 210,000 of a jump from this year's numbers. Now, in this intensely competitive environment, the domestic job market is unable to accommodate the rising demand for high-skill and high-paying jobs. As a result, many graduates are lowering their career expectations. For those studying abroad, the hurdles for looking at jobs outside are even higher due to limited connections and strict immigration policies. Despite sending countless applications, many find it challenging to secure a job. In response, a growing number is now turning to government and state-owned jobs for greater job security, a trend that brings into question the future of the private sector and innovation in China, at least for the foreseeable future. Now let's talk about what's happening in the United Kingdom. Youth unemployment is currently at a historic low. According to recent data, youth unemployment rate in the country reached 12.8% compared to an unemployment rate of 4.2% for the whole population. Now the cause of youth unemployment in the country is quite frankly startling and is a public health concern. A rise in long-term illnesses, especially mental health issues like depression and anxiety. Over the past four years, there has been a 44% rise in young people out of work due to health issues, with more than 560,000 affected. Now, this points to a deepening mental health crisis and the lack of adequate health services. Experts are urging for an overhaul in mental health care and a reform in the work environment to better support the young. The situation is critical and the implications for the future of UK's workforce concerning. In Canada now, the scenario is puzzling. Employers are now keen to hire but face a significant talent shortage. This gap stems from a disconnect between the skills of job seekers and the needs of available positions. The issue is further aggravated by a slowing hiring pace. Critical sectors like information technology, engineering and healthcare are particularly impacted by a talent crunch. This situation highlights a need to reassess educational and vocational training programs to better prepare young people for the current job market. Bridging the skill gap is crucial for Canada to enable its youth to fully participate in the economy. Interestingly, earlier this year, 77,000 jobs were lost in Canada. Who bore the brunt of these losses? The Canadian youth. Data from November places youth unemployment rate of the country at 11.6%. In fact, one in five students surveyed by the University of Calgary's Student Union could not get full-time employment this summer. While a minor example, it highlights a broader issue that the country is facing. It is apparent that both potential employees and employers are not able to meet each other's requirements. Numerous immigrants who go abroad to study there are facing a similar problem. Despite spending so much on education in Canada, they often find themselves with no employment in their line of work. Youth unemployment is clearly a complex issue with varying root causes in different countries at different times. It's a global challenge which requires tailored local solutions, whether it's tackling the skills mismatch in Canada, addressing rampant mental health issues in the United Kingdom, or managing the balance between public and private sector opportunities in China. Each country must develop strategies that meet the unique needs of the youth. This issue goes beyond just economic concerns. It is ultimately about the very future of our global society and the well-being of the next generation. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.